Hello, how are you family? I am here just to share with you that I'm just about to break my um, 65 hour dry fast. Let me make sure we have it set up to four, five, six. Uh, 54 hour, sorry, 64 hour, 64 hour dry fast. Um, I want to just give you an idea of why I dry fast. I, for one, started keto about a year ago. I lost 150 pounds uh, from a keto diet. Those who don't understand what a keto diet is, it's just when you take out sugars and grains and your carbs, you reduce your carbs down to like, for me, it's 20, 20 grams of carbs. Uh, but they say 40. Uh, that's too much for me. And you eat a lot of meat and fat. You can have vegetables um, and fruit. Uh, sugar, like very low sugar uh, fruits. So you're taking the sugars out, cane sugar. And you're adding substitute sugars like erythritol, stevia, monk fruit, things like that on a, you know, as need be basis as far as needing fruit or uh, needing um, some type of a treat. I do the, instead of bread, regular flour, I would have done and do uh, cauliflower flour. Uh, I do chickpea flour, um, almond flour, and now um, I've moved for the last four months into like a carnivore-based diet. Those of you pretty much know what carnivore is. Just means that you eat a lot of meat, 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 mostly meat. Um, but for me, I'm, I guess, what they might call ketovore because. I do eat fruit. Um, I might have a third of a piece of banana cut up in some milk, grass-fed milk or A2 milk. Um, so I have like about 51 pounds to get off. Uh, in between all of that dieting and uh, changing of my diet, way of life, um, I fasted. I dry fasted frequently. I would do 72-hour fasts, sometimes 96 hour fast, dry fast. Um, I add cayenne pepper. I drink uh, two teaspoons of water and I put a teaspoon, I'm sorry, two ounces of water and a teaspoon of cayenne pepper in my water. And I may add on a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Uh, it depends on, you know, what the situation is. But I always do cayenne pepper every day. Now, once I hit my 48 hour hours in my dry fast, I just put cayenne pepper under my tongue. And that's for my heart. Uh, those who may not know, um, years ago I was diagnosed ha with having a enlarged, my, my left ventricle of my heart being enlarged. I never really talk about it too much. Um, but that's one of the things that I, you know, want to heal. Um, diabetes, I had pre-diabetes. Four years, I think it became fuller blown. I can't say that because the doctor hadn't checked me to tell me it was full blown. But the doctor did tell me I had pre-diabetes and, you know, and just told me that. <laughs> so I just check my sugar monitor and keep up with that. But I no longer have pre-diabetes either. Um, from the keto diet, lowering my insulin levels. Um, I stay at about a 70, 80 uh, on the glucometer. Um, my blood pressure has come down from being 200 over uh, 119 to being like 124 over 90. So I'm still working on some things. Um, so I'm still like, I consider myself, I'm, I'm 50 pounds overweight. 
Um, so I work out. I hit the trampoline. I hit the rebounder. Um, dry fasting has changed my attitude. It's let me see myself. Um, it's opened up my spirit to the Lord even more so. Uh, during this fast, I've been praying at midnight uh, every night. And even with the kids because their schedules are off. So... The scripture that I have been um, focused on this week, there's several scriptures I've been focused on, um, but it's Psalms 121. I'm going to get off here now. I need to make some more room, uh, but listen, be blessed and join me in dry fasting. Um, see what your body can do. Dry fasting is miraculous.